Whew, you gotta seize every opportunity, you know? So, welcome to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name's Trevor. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to swap out your battery on your John Deere mower. So, let's roll that intro and get into it. Oh yeah, here we go. This is our John Deere. Now I see it. it's a D105 Auto and the battery is located just right there. Our battery is from 2019 and this girl is dead. I mean dead, dead, dead. Uh, I don't have the key so I can't show you. I don't know where the key is. Anyhow, we just bought one. Randomly bought a battery hoping it will work. Let's see. Let's find out. And I'll tell you guys the right stuff you need. Okay, so we've got that 17.5 gross horsepower 500cc motor on this boy. And it requires a 10 millimeter socket, which I've already broke free. Um, honestly, it's super easy. Then you can just loosen this nut right there. Let me get you guys a good view on that. Take the nut off of there. And we're gonna set that guy right there because we will need it so there's our ground wire there's our positive wire we're just gonna loosen it this guy is super dead there's nothing and you can see it's like got corrosion on it it's all grossed up i dropped that we're gonna clean that up get a little brush clean that up before we put it back on see what i think that's all it's gonna take to get the battery out which is awesome pull that guy out show you guys what battery you need all right now we got this battery out we can see that it is a 250 cold cranking amps battery just a lawn and garden battery it says part u1 it's a little hard to read it's kind of blurry we got that cleaned up so it shows that it's cold cranking amps are 250 which somehow I just took a random guess we got the same thing at 250 cold cranking amps long battery group size is u1 if you get this thing yeah we got this one from walmart it's cheap these things they're like it was like 40 50 bucks with the what you call it the core charge so now we got that new battery in and it is correct we can take this old one back in and get the core charge of 12 dollars back so now all we got to do is clean these up and then we'll put it back on and should be good good as new and run for at least a little while mom's got snacks anyhow if this guy if this video helped you guys smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button that's how you swap out your battery on your lawnmower pretty simple easy job just need a socket that was a 10 millimeter for us and your new battery is a u1 250 cranking cold cranking amp so we'll catch you guys in the next one have a great night god bless y'all hey check this out we getting a new road now dang yep oh look now they're just now laying down the rock but how cool is that it's gonna be all the way like they're doing the whole thing that's whole thing i guess i should have set the that's the way to do it right there That'd be cool on top of that. that is pretty sweet huh right i was like dang look at that it's nice and black looking good in the neighborhood yeah they're like uh oh oh that boy got a camera we need to bag up we need to bag up man that look, that's gonna look so good i'll get you guys a view of the road after it's all done and they've uh completed it man we should have done like 29 burnouts on that road before they redid it huh we should have laid some real rubber down <laughs> you don't but look now they're gonna roll over it all Get it all on there and everything. Woo. Why don't you want to step on the black stuff? Because it's tar and it would really, really hurt. It would burn a lot. That stuff's like boiling hot. When they put it down, it's super duper hot. Look at it. It's all in the grass and the trees over there. That's overspray. There's probably some on the trash can, on the dumpster. But now they're just driving over to like kind of push the rock down into it get it settled and then uh you know after a little while it'll be even better new batteries in here we go oh just like that 
She's ready to mow. Let's go, baby. <laughs> 